All right, welcome to just a little build series, I guess. I'm just some dude in the garage with a turd, rusty old Miata. Um, I went to do the clutch job, clutch flywheel job, and I ended up destroying the other head. Long story short, I had to drill out a stud. I had a coolant jacket, head's trash, so got a new head for 75 bucks. Um, and I was just going to, you know, take it apart, do valve seals. Um, but when I took the valves out... You can see just how pitted the face of these exhaust valves are. Um, all the valves in both heads are the same way. So, I got brand new valves. Um, I've already lapped them in. You can see all the exhaust ones have been lapped. Same with the intake. So, all the valves have been lapped. About ready to start putting this back together. I um, just kind of wanted to showcase some of this. So, exhaust ports. I opened them up just a little bit. So, a little bit of a porting job. And then polished. It's hard to see. I need a flashlight. There you go. You can kind of see. It's not the best, but it's a uh, polish pretty much all the way throughout. You can see it's nice and clean through here as well. And then if I spin this around, right, I do the same thing to the intake. So intake is ported, not polished. This is rough. You're supposed to leave the intake rough. Um, at least it's what I read. So yeah, um, all I really did on the intake was just remove the casting marks. There's Tons of casting marks on stock heads. So I just removed them. And that is my half attempt at a port job. This, as you can see. Oh, I covered it up. Where's it at? Hang on, this is right here. There you go, right? EX. That usually stands for exhaust. But you can see it has the cast engagement on the back. This is a cam, an exhaust cam, out of a 94, 95 Mazda MX-3, so that way us 1.6 guys can do the the eggs intake mod. So you can see I have two sets of exhaust, right? Exhaust, exhaust. But this one's going to function as the intake. Same way the 1.8 guys do it. A little bit more power. This is what I'm most excited about for this. So, clean the intake manifold. Painted it all wrinkle black, as you can see. It looks absolutely fantastic. Painted and cleaned the throttle body. You can see down there. I mean, everything's painted and cleaned. Um, injectors, same thing. Cleaned them out. You know, brake cleaner. I actually cleaned the nozzle of them, so that hopefully they'll spray cleanly. Um, fuel rails clean. Air valves clean. New seals, gaskets, everything. It looks freaking killer, man. You can see just how clean it is in there. But that is going to look amazing on the new head. You can see here's the old head, right? junk so rather than just put some background music on and you sit here and watch me assemble the head for a couple of minutes figured i would do some commentary and show some pictures of work that i did right before i trashed the head so my new favorite picture of the car i don't know why i just think it looks cool i don't know if it's the color or the fact that tranny is on the front i don't know it just looks pretty cool um new rear main clean up the back of the engine obviously um it was disgusting before so super clean now so I can tell if there's any leaks if I take it apart again this is the flywheel you notice this, this is the back side the edge is super shiny I had the machine shop shave off the inertia weight ring or something uh, this is the front side it's obviously been resurfaced and if you look in the middle you can see the weights uh, he weighed it before and after he shaved off that ring on the back it saved about three pounds so good enough for me this is obviously a picture of the engine you can see all the carbon on top of the pistons it was gross especially on cylinder one that was holding a ton of heat here it is after i cleaned it up uh, it's pretty hard to see in the last picture but the exhaust runner on cylinder one was way different color than the other one so i know that that carbon was holding a lot of heat um, this is a picture of one of the exhaust valves i took all the valves out of both of the heads and all 16 of the exhaust valves were pitted like this on the face this is the main reason i ended up getting new valves um, and here's a picture of the cursed water plug. Rather than having to deal with that later on, um, or just replace it now, I went ahead and drilled it and tapped it. I had a metric tap laying around. I don't remember which one I did. But yeah, so there's a bolt in it just for test fitting. I didn't ever want to have to try to do that um, up against the firewall, so drilled and tapped it, thread seal it, never have to worry about it. Here's just a picture of the polish I did on the exhaust ports. Nothing crazy. It's not a mirror finish, but I figured while I was in there, might as well try have some fun. Picture of the cylinder head taped up um, when I was painting it. Looks great now. Um, I don't remember the color. 
but all the aluminum parts on the entire engine are the same color. Here it is back together, studs back in, and then those little black Allen plugs. Um, I cleaned those up. Intake manifold, wrinkle black. I left the hair dryer in there just for the memes. Love how the intake manifold came out. And then here's the intake manifold fully back together. Everything cleaned, painted, new seals, like I said earlier. But the favorite part of this whole process was getting this looking as good as it does. I, I love how that came out. Um, and then here's just a picture of some other random stuff I painted. So you can see cam gears, there's a throttle body, crank pulley, water pump pulley, just random bits. Um, yeah, so let's just get back to it. All right, it's a new day. After the clip from yesterday, I realized that I had put all the exhaust valves in and forgot the freaking valve stem seals. Um, I ended up having to go buy more. I didn't like the ones I had, but head is back together. So obviously new all, va all new valve stems. Valves are all new as well. I lapped them all like I said yesterday. Um, so cams are installed now. Head's fully back together. Intake manifold's on. So I'm about to throw the head gasket on and then we're going to lift this thing up and put it in its home. Hopefully I don't have to pick it back up because it's kind of heavy. So I'm just going to clean the underside of the head right now and then see if I can throw it on there. The workbench is destroyed. Such a mess. But head's on, torqued correctly. We're timed. We're pretty much ready to go. I'm going in for the night though. Just wanted to make a little update. But you can see this is obviously the normal cam gear, right? E is facing up, I is facing the notch. And then on this cam gear, I'll link the forum post how you're supposed to count these, but it's 25 is your new top from the E, and then 9 is your new alignment mark. You can see we are correctly aligned. We're on the correct stroke because the lobes are both facing outwards, the front two lobes. So we're good to go. Um, like I said, though, closing up for the night. Tired. Hopefully have it ready tomorrow, and maybe I can start it. But I just kind of want to show you what it looks like with the valve cover on. Obviously, this is there's no gasket here or anything. But it just looks killer. The wrinkle red is not the best. You can see there's like a scuff. It's dirty, whatever. But the silver cam gears, the wrinkle black intake manifold, it looks amazing. I don't know what I just kicked. It's been about two hours since the last clip, so the RTV's been curing that long. I mean, I know it needs more, but I just want to start this thing. Everything's hooked up. Uh, I need to plug in the wire and hook up the heater core hose, but we're about ready to start this freaking thing. It's fully back together, headers on, hooked up. Catch can, this vacuum line sucks, I need to go buy more, but it's hooked up, we're pretty much ready to go, man. I'm I'm stoked, so here in the next probably 10, 15 minutes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it the old start. Hopefully it uh, actually runs. I'm nervous. <laughs> 